There's the vulture's hideout on the other side of this field. Welcome back to Let's Play Full Throttle with me, Saxcat20. And we left off I guess it's all true. that there is a little bit of an issue in getting to the next part. Convenient that we have a little cute bunny. These boys. I wouldn't blame you for wanting to set those off. So let's use our cute bunny. Oh, look at the bunny. Nothing's gonna happen to the bunny. Oh, something happened to the bunny. And randomly a battery comes all the way back. Power blast Named Power Blast. How ironic. Yes, how ironic indeed. Power Blast brand. How, how ironic. ironic. So we can't really go any farther yet because we only have one bunny. So we have to go back and find a way to get more things to blow up those mines and get farther into the game. So we have to go back to that souvenir stand. I feel like Corley Motor Motors is like very like I don't know. Oh yeah, remember we ran the battery out on that. Should put some life into it. it reminds me of like a uh, evil castle right now. We are gonna take it out for a spin. Okay, that's far enough, bud. No, it's gonna go a little farther. It did. Now look what you did. I know I'm I'm awful. Hang on, little buddy. Daddy's coming. Now <laughs> it's just me and the bunnies. No mementos. Well scars enough to remind me of this trip. Okay, you're gonna have enough scars, huh? Well we need the boxo bunnies. <clears throat> Yoink it's a whole box of furry things. Indeed. Now we can go let loose the carnage. And it's like I picture if Corley wasn't dead, he'd be up on the top of that doing maniacal laughter. Okay. The field's been replanted, tidy little vultures. Yep. Good thing we have plenty of bunnies now. Bonk. Dun 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 dun. The flight of the bunnies. Bunny box. Hmm. Box o bunnies. I hate surprise. I bet you do. So let's take these bunnies and go let them go. Well, he's dead. Go on, bunny. Go through the path so we can live. So we have to follow his path so we don't get blown up. He's a cute little bunny. There he goes. He's so pixelated. Aw. Now he's dead. So it's time to use these boys. a new bunny. I'm sure you're figuring out how you do this by this point. So smooth. Don't think so. Don't think so. I don't want to set off any of these boys. They definitely have a lot of mines out there, and you can definitely tell where many have gone off before. So I wonder how many people got murdered out here in the past. <laughs> you might want to think about that in the comments about how many people were probably died trying to go through here. They probably had some Corley auto workers just get destroyed. That's the guy I was telling you about, Susie. You sure? Yeah. Susie, you, wow, you're That's big. That's the guy who killed my father. Uh, no, oh, that just is incorrect. We did not kill your father. Let's rip him oh God! Listen, Draw and quarter. A big mistake. Oh, Ben, you're right. We shouldn't do this quickly. We should draw this out, don't you think, Susie? Hey, I got. Rip Burger out. killed your dad. You. Not me. Mark Hamill did it. Exactly. Your father. Don't you dare talk about my father, you heartless bastard. 
Uh, we were friends. <laughs> I'm losing my temper, Marine. And you're about to lose much more. Let me go, or else. Of course, you can't oh, die in these games, so it's not like you're really gonna get killed. I'll call you I'll names. Call you names. <laughs> like what? Diaper Dynamo. How? Exactly. Let you hear that name. Your father. He told me just before he died. You bludgeoned my father and then talked about old times? I didn't kill him. Rip Burger did. A photographer took pictures, but her camera was stolen by the same thug that came after you. I... I yep. have that role. Well, develop it, would you? While I still fit in my clothes? Okay, you stay here. Hey. <laughs> hey, we just think we worked this out. I love the animation here. Sorry. Yeah, well, don't sweat it. I'm gonna get Rip Burger even if I die trying. No, we have to expose Rip Burger at the shareholders meeting. That way, we take him down, we save my gang, and your father gets his dying wish. You take over Corley Motors. Rip Burger canceled the shareholders meeting. He made a statement to the press that there'd be no meeting until the murderers were brought to justice. So, no shareholders meeting until we're both dead? Hmm, that could be arranged. You could always fake it. Okay, so here we go. Faking <clears throat> Ben and Maureen's death. Act, Act one, one, scene one. Adrian Ripburger, in a desperate attempt to lure our Maureen out of hiding, has developed the following lame-ass scheme. <laughs> First prize at tonight's Smash Up Derby is a vintage hard tail that Mo restored with her dad. Rip hopes Mo will try to nab said bike on account of her sentimental attachment to it. That's what he does so hope, really. Mo play along, put on disguises, and enter the demolition derby, which ends tragically when their cars explode and both are presumed dead. Um, uh, question. Please save your questions until the end. I'm not done. Explosives in Moe's car can only be triggered by a head-on collision with Ben's car. His How does that work? The seat projects Moe clear of the explosion, and she parachutes to safety. Don't you think someone will notice her rejecting out of her car? No. They'll all be watching you running around on fire. Yeah, that's another question I have. When your car explodes, <laughs> you climb from it in flames and run around the stadium distracting the audience. In your cute little asbestos suit, of course. <laughs> oh, okay. I was going to say, how are we going to run around on fire? All right, then. Let's go blow We tend to die. All right, folks. Here we go. On time on to fake our deaths. Dogs, it's time to start. Hang on to your chili dogs. Mm, I wouldn't mind a chili dog right now. Anybody? Anybody? Anybody want a chili dog? I do. Sonic the Hedgehog loves chili dogs. <laughs> He looks like a generic, like, Iron Man knockoff. <laughs> now I'm just embarrassed for them. Who do they think they're fooling with those ludicrous disguises? Nobody. And next to him is another newcomer. Please give a big smashatorium salute to the Prince Doreen Schmorley. They didn't even try to change the name of her. And finally, we have a last minute addition to the lineup tonight. A deadly looking team known as the Boom Boom Brothers. Lovely. Girl. Time to get away now, bicycle boy. <laughs> All right now, are you ready to see some reckless driving? Are you ready to see some unnecessarily violent destruction? Yes. Woohoo! Unwanted destruction. Hey! Where are you, Ben? Hang on, Mo. Here I come. He looks so creepy. Boom. Smash! Watch out for the Boom Boom Brothers, Mo. I'm still sad that they gotta play Ben as dead in real life. Yeah, up the ramp. Go. 
after I stalled when I bounced off the roof. Yep. Looks like these babies have a glass jaw. Now I can get them out of the way. Don't. <laughs> Stay over there. Now let's move you around. Man, what are you doing? Get over here and nail me. Yeah, nail her, Ben. We have plans, Mo. Don't. You'll see what we're getting at in just a moment here. Almost. Get up the ramp. Okay, boom boom brothers. It's all over. Don't get him. Are you taking a nap? Oh, we stalled the car out. <sighs> Idiots. Okay, Mo. Time for our big finale. Do it. Boom. That's an explosion, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Here we go. Woo! Wait, what's that? It's the unknown Avenger, and he's on fire. Let's give him a hand, folks. That looks painful. <laughs> We should put him out, but why? Why bother? Yeah, there's the Sam and Max thing up there. He's the runner and the torch all in one out. Yep. Start catching things on fire. I guess the Avenger never heard of stop dropping at all, huh? We have an asbestos suit. Oh, of course. I see what I can do, but I'm burning the both hands of it. Well, folks, it looks like the party's getting a lot of hand. Indeed. Get the hell out of here! Okay, we caused enough of diversion to get the bike. Oh, well, he finally got it started again. Now, squish that firefly while he's hot. They just really want to murder people in this. Look at him run. Now we get up in here. There we go. What happened? You caught on fire. You get him? We finally got him, Bolas. That means Ripburger has to make us vice presidents now, like he promised. Yeah, right. And give us ten thousand shares of stock each. Mm. Hmm. Funny smell. What's that? The temperature light? You're on fire, dumbass. Well, on the bright side. I just made 20,000 shares of stock. They're dead. Time to start the shareholders meeting. Where's the hard tail? All over the floor, Mr. Avenger. What? What happened to your deep sentimental attachment to your father's vintage bike? Yeah, exactly. It's just a bike. I can put it back together in about a half an hour. But that's assuming, of course, I can find that key. There's a key. What key are you talking about? Key to my dad's safe. I remember he hid it somewhere on this bike. But I looked everywhere and I can't find anything that even looks like Well, it's probably not going to be like a regular key. How was your flight? Well, there were some explosions during takeoff and I landed in a minefield. But other than that, it was fine. I'm fine, by the way. Thanks for asking. <laughs> uh huh. Great, now help me find that key. I'll see what I can do. Right. Right. 
So obviously, it's going to be something that wouldn't mm-hmm. you wouldn't normally think. Mm-hmm. And we have these numbers. Mm-hmm. It's fun to make him. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Here, take the photos. I don't want them. Show them to someone important if you get a chance. Oh, I will. We'll show them to real important people. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. I find it ironic that her place of, like, work has been so close to her dad's. Like, the vultures have been I'll right there. Later, when I have more time. And we got in. Here's the safe. Using those numbers we saw earlier. There we go. There's uh, some sort of card. And a tape. I sure hope that's Corley's will. Mo gave me the photos of her dad's murder. Gruesome. These need more exposure than that. I don't think that plays real to real tapes. Corley Motors. Hmm. No. Well, we need to be getting in here. This is where you put the card. And then goes the card. Cool. Looks like the meeting started. Was not only an inspiration. This is such a great part. But also a great personal friend. You bullshit! You murdered him. His loss affects us all deeply. Malcolm and I spoke often of the future. We talked of a day when Corley Motors would move beyond its humble beginnings into a new vehicular age. And although his tragic death took him from us sooner than anyone expected... He's pretty young there, both of them were. Malcolm oh yeah, fake it up there. And I shall carry out that dream in his memory. Ladies and gentlemen, I am pleased to present to you the future of Corley Motors. The Corley Minivan. Oh god, not a minivan. Corley was right. I never dreamed it would actually come to minivans, though. <laughs> Anything but minivans. It's locked. It's locked. Man, that Rip Burger can yap. Hey, who are you? How Some long woman. Have you been there? Oh, security! Help! Security! Security! Run! <laughs> what took you so long? He ran down the hallway. Move it. Mavis must be saying things. Mavis. We're just really good at running. See, everything goes down. What the... What the hell is going on up there? I'm on it. Just readjusting the lamp and motor controls here. Just adjusting them more. Yeah, uh, yes. Eh, uh, huh? Where was I? I hate this old equipment. My girdle needs less adjusting. I did not want to know about your girdle. So, of course, it gives you the idea of what you've got to do. What you see before you right now is my vision for Christmas. And now it's screwing up again. Oh, and it burn up. <laughs> oh, perfect. This is a disaster. You're telling me. Uh oh. I don't think Rick Berwick knows anything except murder. <laughs> you know, this reminds me of an amusing anecdote <laughs> about a uh, 
do. Uh, I... He doesn't know any jokes. Oh, I think that's done. Why don't you put your cigarette in there? Well, that might help. I'm out of ideas. It's locked. Well, we don't need to go in the locked door. We need to go in here. It's locked on that easel. I can see all over the company from here. I'm not getting caught up in that mess. But we do have a real to real player. This is multimedia. This is where you put the cards for the big screen video projector. Now let's put in our reels. Now, this next slide shows our new oh, hello. aggressive corporate strategy. That picture's so gruesome. Mm -hmm. If you're hearing this, I must have croaked. Well, people gotta move on, you know, and make room for other people. Yep. And that's what I'm here to talk about today. I've made room for someone else to take my place at Corley Motors. And it ain't that embezzling crook, Adrian Ripburger. Ooh. Rip, you don't belong at the head of my company. You belong in jail. Uh... <laughs> I let that man talk me into far too many things. Like keeping my daughter a secret. He was wrong. I was wrong. I should have stood by her. I hope, Maureen, that you forgive me. And that you take over Corley Motors and run it however you see fit. All right, that's enough. How do I turn this damn thing off? I... Uh... You're screwed, Ripburger. I'm sorry you had to hear that tape from... One of Malcolm's psychiatric sessions. Yeah, okay. And near the end, he, he suffered many paranoid delusions. Get him, Maureen. He was haunted by powerful forces of his own creation. And here's one of them. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Maureen Corley, and do I have a heck of a story for you. By the time I'm done, you'll see why this man should be in jail. Uh, he's hey. gone. You hobble off too. Uh oh. Okay, go. we need to get him. He can't go real fast anyway. And then he sent his goons after me. Oh, of course. Run, Rip Burger. When it's time to find you, we'll just follow the shiny trail. Yes, of course we'll have daycare facilities. Any other questions? Oh, speak of the devil. Come over here, Ben. Of course we'll have daycare facilities. I thought that was funny. That's great, Ben. We're finally where we were meant to be all along. So, after we pick up your bike, we'll go get my gang out of jail. And then find out why my gang never showed up to help us. And then you go business suit shopping. Don't remind me. Don't complain. You're going to be rich. At this point, I'd settle for just a little peace and quiet. Not getting it. I love how they kind of fake the ending. Yeah, we ain't done yet. Rip Burger, Rip Burger has to be taken out for this to work. Uh, you might have gone psycho. A little bit. She interrupted my speech, Ben. She really shouldn't have. I was just about to talk about the inherent dangers of motorcycle operation. Oh my lord, there's the vultures. Can't you make this damn thing go any faster? <laughs> I love this game mostly even for so many of the great 90s voice actors. Yeah, we don't need that to happen yet. You have a panel. Makes it hard for him to see. He grab his cane. Take down that grill. Throw a bunny. Fun. 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 Pretty small. 
take his cane, shove it in there. Yoink! Grab that fuel on. Yeah, we do have things we can pry with. Good thing we have that. Oh god. Boing. That's a problem. I thought you said this thing couldn't move. I said it couldn't fly. I never said it couldn't taxi. Flying <laughs> would be nice since we're headed for the gorge. Ripperger, you're going to kill all of us. Shh, Ben. Don't ruin the ending. How do you stop this I thing? I think he's gone nuts. In the Jane, stop this crazy thing! Careful, Ben! Ripburger, you are nuts if you want yourself to die, too. You're not gonna survive that fall, even in that thing. So much for the controls. I could have used those. <laughs> could have used the controls, that would have been useful. Damn. Emergency? <laughs> Break would be nice. Yes. Severely damaged is not responding. Well, we do have that, um... Here goes nothing. I saw the parachute we could use. Well, we slowed down a little bit, probably. What did you do? Uh. Nope. Oh dear. <laughs> ben, Ben, are you alive? Maybe. I am, but I don't know about Rip Burger. I really don't care. I can see him. He's out cold. Uh, no, he's not. His eyes just bulged out. He still has that. Does he still have his gun? I can't tell. Ben. I'd like to wrap this around Rip Burger's neck. Yeah, I'm sure you would. But the best thing to do would probably be to uh, unscrew it in some place, maybe? I can't remember. A fuel leak, huh? Hmm. Maintenance. There we go. Well, he lost his gun now. He did have it. Can't beat a Corley! That was like Wally e. Coyote death. Well, my answer's that. So much for him. Good riddance to bad rubbish. What a great game. Short, but good. Acting's great, voice acting's right, superb, back. graphics are amazing for the brain. time. I could gush on this game forever. And the bunnies. Can't leave that behind. No, he needs his bike. Just what that room needs, more fire. Dun 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 oh. Life was a game to him. That's a lot of motorcycles. And he played it by his own rules. He was a mystery to most of us. And yet an inspiration. To us all. He gave us freedom. He gave us power. He gave us wings. He gave us wheels. 
Thank you, Malcolm Corley, for giving us a dream that will never die. That was appropriate. I like how the random original Polecat leader is so, the guy that did that. So. So. Uh, maybe we could do lunch sometime next week. Yeah, sure. Lunch sounds great. Lunch is delicious. Things aren't gonna change, are they, Ben? I mean, just because I'm in charge of the company now, and living in a mansion and riding around in limos, that doesn't mean we won't spend a lot of time together, does it? Look, Mo, you're in a different league now. You shouldn't be hanging out with the likes of me anymore. But Ben... Oh, just a second. Hello? What? No, 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 that's crazy. Is he nuts? Look, move the meeting up to five and tell the plant foreman that I'm coming over personally to inspect those parts. I know, I know, that's what I told him. And we're gone. <sighs> Sorry, Marine. Excuse me, what was that last part? No, 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 that alloy was flawed to begin with. Uh-huh. Yeah. 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 Good. Great. Ben, that's just not gonna work for him, unfortunately. That's why they wanted to make a sequel, and the sequel took forever to come out, then they were gonna make it in 3D, and thank God they didn't, so... I would much rather have gotten what we got. So, time for my rating. I'm going to do the 10 point system that I tend to do um, and I'm going to start with graphics you know for the period of time that this game came out the graphics are superb uh, a lot of the 3d modeling is done very well the comic style art is perfectly done so I'm going to give it a 9 out of 10 just about as good as it could be for the time but I think it had a few things that could have been better um, unfortunately, I think I'm going to get copyrighted again on these Gone Jackals things, but it is what it is. I can't help it. Um, not everything I do is for money. To be honest, most of it's not. Um, music. I would give it an 8 out of 10. Some of it's pretty good. Some of it's not. Um, some of it doesn't really fit. I do love how they use Flight of the Valkyries there with the bunnies when you drop them off. I think that's pretty darn funny. The Gone Jackals music works, and is enjoyable and makes sense for the style of game. Uh, I like the iMuse system that they had put in where it changes the music based on what is going on in the game. Um, but 8 out of 10 is about as high as I would go with that. Um, now let's talk about you know the puzzles and the challenge. And I'd give that a 5 out of 10. The puzzles in this game are not very hard and there's not very many of them. And what makes things annoying is the bike part that we did in the second part. That is really annoying. That drops it down to a 5 for me. Um, replayability, depending on if you got all of the stuff from the motorcycle gangs at the beginning, is really probably about just like a 3 out of 10. This game, once you play it once, as long as you like it, I guess you keep playing it like me, I do enjoy it. Uh, you know, you get to see the cast of characters like we're passing by right now that are just great, and they add to it, so, you know. But my overall rating is an 8 out of 10 for Full Throttle. A very enjoyable game. You know, it's a B level. You know, the game is not long enough for the time period that it came out, but the voice acting and the graphics and the music really do a great job. You know, you got Maurice LaMarche in this, and Mark Hamill is just done so well. Um, the only thing that really brings it down is the shortness for me and the bike stuff where you have to attack the people. That's about it. If the game was another mm, 40 minutes long with some better puzzles, it would be a 10 out of 10. That just really shows the difference in, for me. Now, that doesn't mean that you are going to feel the same way that I feel. So let me know in the comments uh, what you would rate this game or if you agree with my opinion or you have your own opinion on the game. I more than welcome your opinions on this game. So I'm going to go ahead and sign off here. I have done all I'm going to do. So this has been Sex Cat 20 playing Full Throttle. And as always, I hope you've enjoyed. And please stay tuned for further Let's Plays. There's a lot coming in 2016. Stay tuned for it. Thank you again. <laughs>